This video is over square root practice problems. For problem number one, we have negative seven squared. We can break that problem down into negative seven two times. Negative seven times negative seven, two negatives make a positive 49. For number two, because we have a fraction, we're gonna do two thirds twice, because that's our exponent, two thirds raised to the second power. And then we solve it. Two times two is going to give us four. Three times three is going to give us nine. Four to the ninth power would be that problem. For number three, we have nine to the second power with a negative sign. Notice the difference between number three versus number one. Number three does not have parentheses, whereas number one does. We would solve this as nine times nine, which is 81. And then we would put the negative sign back in. It ends up with a negative 81 as our answer. Two negatives make a positive when we have our parentheses around our base number negative seven. We do not have parentheses in number three, so we keep the negative in our answer. For number four, we have the negative square root of 196. The square root of 196 is 14 because 14 times 14 is equal to 196. And then we bring down the negative sign from the problem. Negative 14 is our answer. In number five, we have the square root of 81, 0.81. We know that nine times nine is 81. So we have 0.9 as our answer. In number six, we are taking the square root of nine, which we can break down into three times three. And we're breaking down 16 into four times four. And so three fourths is our final answer. Now for these problems, we have an extra step. This is a two part or sometimes even a three part problem. For number one, we have the two out in front. We know that eight times eight is gonna give us 64, so we can break that down. The square root of 64 is eight. Now, when the numbers are side by side like that, it means to multiply. So we would multiply the two times eight to get our final answer, 16. In number eight, we still have the five out front, so five plus. The square root of 121 is going to be 11 because we know 11 times 11 is 121. Five plus 11 is going to give us 16 for our final answer. In problem number nine, we keep the negative three out in front. The square root of 225 is 15. And because those are side by side, we would multiply them. Remember 15 times 15 is 225. And we keep the plus 10 at the back. Now we can go ahead and multiply negative three times 15, which would give us negative 45. Negative 45 plus 10 would give us negative 35 for our answer. For number 10, we have the square root of 144, which is 12, because we know that 12 times 12 is 144. Minus the square root of 36 is six because 36 is six times six. 12 minus six gives us a final answer of six. In number 11, we leave the 15 out in front and because it's side by side, we're gonna multiply. We multiply by the square root of 16. The square root of 16 is four because four times four equals 16. When we solve it, 15 times four is going to give us 60 for our answer. The last problem is number 12, where we have a negative square root of 81. We keep the negative sign and the square root of 81 is nine. We know nine times nine is 81. And we keep the plus 20 at the back. We can go ahead and add it up, negative nine plus 20, which gets us an answer of 11. So for number 13, we have a group of 225 students that needs to be arranged in a square formation for a halftime performance show. How many students should be lined up in each row? So if we are lining students up in a square, 
and we need the total number of students to fit in this square to be 225. We can take the square root, see how that fits together? It's a square and we take the square root. The square root of 225 is going to be 15. 15 times 15 gives us 225. So our group of students need to be in groups of 15 in each row. For number 14, it says Ivan's room is a square. So again, we have a square with an area of 144 square feet. What is the perimeter of Ivan's room? Now, remember, area is represented by length times width. So in order to get 144, we would multiply 12 times 12. That is where we took the square root of 144. The square root of 144 is 12. That's how we get the side lengths. However, the question asks us for the perimeter. The perimeter is when we add all the sides. So we have to add up 12 four times because there are four sides to Ivan's room. 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 is going to give us a total of 48 feet for Ivan's room.